Hey, how is going? Adam here. Today we're gonna modify the new GPI case from Retroflag by adding a 4000mAh battery, a micro USB charging port and a battery monitor. This will extend the battery life and on top of it, it will gonna make it easier to charge your battery. Let's get into it. Let's have a look at what we get. Some screws and a micro USB connector and the case itself. My first impressions on the case, the size is better than I thought and the L and R buttons are feeling quite nice. It's with 30% smaller than a Game Boy, but it feels right in your hand. The Pi will mount in the cartridge style mounting mechanism. We need to just to pull it apart and we will see the PCB. This is a really nice solution to connect your Pi. It comes with pogo pins, so no soldering required. They will be fit together just by tension. To mod our case, I found this battery that fits with a bit of modification inside the battery compartment. A 5V booster and a charger. These are rock solid and it will fit for our purpose, combining the charging and boosting on one board. But you can go with any small 5V boosters and chargers. A micro USB charging port so we can charge our battery. And that's pretty much it. Let's start by soldering our booster. Apply some flux over the pins and with some solder, thin all the pins of the booster. Now let's take two wires and wire it to the power in pins. This will go to our micro USB power in. Next, solder two wires on the power out pins. This will go to our case PCB. All that is remained are the battery pins that we will solder directly from it. This was all the preparing we needed in order to make the mod. Now let's put this together. Slide the micro USB into your Pi Zero and add it to our half of the cartridge and fix it down with the screws. Add the ribbon cable from the micro USB into our GPIO PCB. All we need now is to add the second half on top of the PCB and screw the four screws in order for our pins to connect correctly. Slide the safety switch on and add the batteries in. Before we boot it, add the SD card with the RetroPie image and the GPI case script installed and SSH and Wi-Fi enabled. Add it into our Pi and let's just slide the cartridge in its slot and believe me or not, that is it. We got a fully functional Game Boy Zero. We need to set up the buttons and we boot into RetroPie. And that's it. From here you can use it as it is. But I want to have a LiPo battery and charger inside of it. I'm not a big fan of the AA batteries. As a note, do this at your own risk. And let's open it up by unscrewing the 6 screws that holds everything in place. And with a card, slowly open the case up. Make sure to not pull too hard, we will need to disconnect the ribbon cable and we can now start modding. The first thing, let's test it if our booster fits. And with some small modification we'll do. Then, let's remove the metal springs that hold the AA batteries in place. Now we can make sure we got enough space for our battery with a Dremel. Do that carefully to not damage the case. After you finish modifying it, it should look something like this, with enough space for the battery. Let's try to mount it in, 
and we got success. Also, make sure you sand the edges. Let's start modifying the springs attached to the PCB, cut these off completely. The bottom is the minus pin and the top is the plus. Cut them flush and let's get to the next step. Now, I forgot to press record, but this is pretty straightforward. We soldered the power out red cable on the top side and the minus on the bottom one. For the micro USB, we routed the powering cables to the top of the case and lastly, glue the booster on the side of the case. And that was pretty much it. File the top for our connector and we are done. We managed to add a micro USB port for charging, a battery and a battery indicator. You can also charge and play and you can see the charging process through the case. The feel of it is amazing. I can't believe how great all the games look on this little machine. The IPS screen brings the games to life. You can see from my little collection that it plays perfect and the sound is great. Overall impressed, a nice addition to a retro gaming collection. And that was it. If you liked the video and you stayed until now, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. My name is Adam and I will see you in the next one.